This is 2.2 examples part 3. So example 7 says find the derivative of the given function. Use the derivative to find the slope of the tangent line at the given point. So first we're going to find the derivative of g. Which means I need to take the derivative of this fraction. However, I am going to simplify that fraction first. So I'm going to have 2x squared over x squared plus 5x over x squared plus 3 over x squared. Then I'm going to reduce each fraction so that I get 2 plus 5 over x plus 3 over x squared. Then I'm going to write the x's in the denominators as negative powers. So 5x to the negative 1 plus 3x to the negative 2. Now I'm going to use my rules. So the derivative of a constant is 0. The derivative of 5x to the negative 1 is 5 times negative 1x to the negative 2 plus 3 negative 2x to the negative 3. So I'm bringing down my powers and decreasing it by 1. Bringing down my power and then decreasing that power by 1. So here I get negative 5x to the negative 2, negative 6x to the negative 3, and if I put that back into its fraction form, I get this expression here. Now it says for me to use this derivative to find the slope of the tangent line. Um, so that means that m10 is going to equal this expression evaluated when x is equal to 1. So I have negative 5 over negative 1 squared minus 6 over negative 1 cubed. I can stick that in the calculator, but I end up with negative 5 plus 6, which is just 1. This negative times a negative will be a positive 1, and negative 5 over positive 1 is negative 5. This will be negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is a negative 1, and negative 6 divided by negative 1 is a positive 6. So that's where I got those numbers from. You could also type these fractions into the calculator, and it'll still give you that positive 1. For example, 8. It says, determine the point at which the following has a horizontal ha tangent line. So you have to think about that. If it has a horizontal tangent line, that means that the slope of the tangent line is zero. That is the slope of a horizontal line. It's flat. It has no incline and no decline. So the slope is just zero. So what I want to do is I want to figure out where does my f prime of x equal zero. That's what I want to know. Okay, well to figure that out, we first have to find f prime. So let's go ahead and do f prime of x, which means take the derivative of this expression here. And to do that, I'm going to um, rewrite it as 3x to the negative 3. And then I'm going to keep the multiplier in the front and then bring down my power and decrease the power by 1 and then go back and rewrite it as a fraction. So that is my derivative. And I want to figure out where this derivative equals 0. 